Yeah, and he says he's actually uh, looking to see if other school districts did the same thing. But while Middell says they're going to pay back that money, they say no rules were broken at the time it was spent. They have made terrible decisions there. They've mismanaged funds. With over three batches of COVID funding, school districts in Oklahoma were awarded $1.2 billion, response. according to the state's um, elementary and secondary school emergency relief fund dashboard. Middell received over $12 million in the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplemental Appropriations Act, the second batch of COVID funding. State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the State Department of Education says they found Middell mismanaged some of that money. We will be watchdogs of their dollars and we will continue to do that. Walter says they found the district using $500,588 toward athletic lawn services. Middell, on the other hand, says a rule put in place saying they couldn't use the money on athletics was put in place after it had been done. Not only do we need to figure out how we uh, fix this for the time being on the funds that they spent inappropriately. We're going to have to figure out a way for them to move forward and do it in a way to where they actually are accountable for the funds put in their use. Other schools were in on this COVID money with districts across the state receiving some. In the Metro, OKC received over $130 million. Edmond, almost $15 million. And Putnam City, more than $37 million. While Middell's news comes out today, others in our state may be following. Uh, this is where we first moved because it was the clearest example of uh, money not being spent appropriately, but there are several districts that we've been looking into um, investigating further. Now the district says they're working on a full response for the State Department of Education while checking their policies and procedures, but they also say that their spending aligned with the understanding of the federal guidelines and those of the OSDE staff. Reporting live, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.